Here at Floating Hospital for Children, the staff is preparing for a pediatric endoscopy. When children undergo this diagnostic test, an anesthesiologist or nurse anesthetist is required to deliver sedation. When healthier or low-risk adult patients undergo these procedures, supervised anesthesia may not be necessary. For these procedures, you're not put into general anesthesia. You're just um, sedated so that you doze off and are sleepy and can't remember um, the procedure itself. This is because physicians use an endoscope, an instrument with a light at the tip. The endoscope is inserted into the throat and down into the gastrointestinal tract to help identify problems or disease. Dr. Soren Matke and co-authors from the RAND Corporation examined health insurance data for more than 6 million Medicare recipients and those with employer-based insurance. Researchers identified patients receiving gastroenterology procedures from 2003 to 2009 and determined whether or not they had an anesthesiologist or a nurse anesthetist present during the procedure. Anesthesia use almost quadrupled in that time period, and that leads to um, tripling of the cost. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Overall spending on anesthesia services during those routine procedures went from about 400 million in 2003 to about 1.3 billion dollars in 2009. Researchers say the majority of that increase was spent on anesthesia services for low-risk patients, those without heart or pulmonary conditions. Researchers also point out that many low-risk patients prefer deep sedation for psychological reasons. However, past studies have found that these patients have just as good outcomes with lighter sedation administered by the physician performing the procedure. We believe it's actually better to identify areas where we can eliminate some services that have marginal clinical value and preserve the services that actually are critical for patients' health and well-being. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.